Zelaya. And I'm Lana. And this is the Wildcat News from March 15th, the Eyes of the March. Hey, who called? Let every noise be still. Peace, yet again. Who is it in the press that calls on me? I hear a tongue shriller than all the music cries Caesar. Speak. Caesar's turn to hear. Beware the Ides of March. What man is that? A soothsayer bids you beware the Ides of March. Students, make sure you're wearing your IDs. And if you don't have your ID today, then you need to get a temporary ID from your home teacher. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here are today's announcements. It's time to find out what's for lunch today. baseball and soccer teams play against Whitmont today. Let's find out what happened on this day in history. March 15th, 44 BC. The Ides of March in ancient Rome. That's when dictator Julius Caesar is assassinated by a group of nobles that includes Brutus and Cassius. 1965, in Washington, mm, President Lyndon Johnson urges the, Congress to pass an effective voting rights bill. He adopts the anthem of the Civil Rights injustice. Movement when he tells lawmakers, And we shall overcome. Months later, Johnson signs the Voting Rights Act into law, enabling blacks in the South to exercise their right to vote. 2005. In New York, former WorldCom chief Bernard Ebers is convicted of engineering the largest corporate fraud in U.S. history. He's later sentenced to 25 years behind bars. 1964. I said, get over there and answer that door. All right. Whatever love wants. Actress Elizabeth Taylor marries actor Richard Burton in Montreal, Canada. The tumultuous pair stay together for more than a decade. And 1956. I could have danced all night. In New York, the musical My Fair Lady, starring Rex Harrison and Julie Andrews, opens on Broadway. Today in History, March 15th, Sandy Cozell, The Associated Press. We have an important announcement today about an unusual collection job sponsored by Miss Rapetta. Do you have plastic bags that you guys don't use and y'all just throw them away? Well, a local Girl Scout troop is working on a project to make sleeping bags for the homeless. They are making these mats out of recycled plastic grocery bags. It takes 500 bags to make one mat. Please bring in any plastic grocery bags your family has to help the girls with this project. Bats can be brought to Ms. Rapetto in 308. Thank you. Good luck to the string students as they compete in the concert festival competition tomorrow at North Greenville University. That's all the announcements for today. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Beware the Ides of March. He is a dreamer. Let us leave him. Ha! Ah! Ah!